So if that's all the things that arbitration is not, what is arbitration? Arbitration is a private non-national system of dispute resolution by an impartial tribunal. So you take yourself out of the court system into a separate system for resolution of disputes that is not tied to any particular national system of justice. We'll come on to certain ways in which there are links, but it's outside of the judicial process of, of any country. It's based on the party's agreement. If you don't have an agreement to arbitrate, then you default back to local court jurisdiction. The award is final and binding, so it is an enforceable decision. As a general rule, there is no appeal on fact or law. There are limited exceptions to that under the laws of uh, certain seats that often can be excluded by, uh, by agreement. But as a general rule, there's no appeal on fact or law, and there are limited grounds to set aside or res resist enforcement of the award. Those we'll come on to in uh, a little bit when we get into the New York Convention. The primary advantage of arbitration in the international context is that arbitral awards are globally enforceable around the world on a largely common basis. There are exceptions, but, but not very many. Uh, when would you use it? When transacting with foreign or foreign known counterparties that could be, become judgment proof, uh, on the slide I have in Australia, but it's really anywhere. I, the, the, this was originally pre prepared for an Australian audience. So if you are uh, in a situation, in a transaction where you have money crossing a border, as a general rule, you're going to want to use arbitration because you will want a, an award that is enforceable in multiple jurisdictions. Similarly, you would use it when there's a risk that your counterparty will try to sue you in an undesirable foreign court. So if you want to avoid the courts of your counterparty's jurisdiction, you often will want an arbitration clause. And we'll come on to why that works uh, in a moment. Another advantage of arbitration really is uh, when resolving disputes in a more private forum is important to you. Many court systems provide for the publication and public access to disputes. Arbitration as a general rule is confidential or at least private. And so there is uh, much less public dissemination of information about the dispute. Both often uh, if you're dealing with publicly listed companies in particular, the existence of the dispute will be a reportable uh, fact. But the details of the dispute, the submissions, the parties' filings, the, the, the courts or the, the arbitral tribunal's decisions, those will be private and confidential. The other advantage or another advantage of arbitration is that it's neutral. So if the parties want a neutral dispute resolution system, arbitration is often the best bet. Arbitration allows you to choose your arbitrators, be it one or three. And you can make that choice based on neutral uh, parties. So the rules of most institutions and the arbitral rules that follow the model law, in the, the laws that follow the model law, all require that arbitrators be impartial uh, and independent, which means that they don't have a tie to either uh, of, the, of the disputing parties. 